Rory, you're the master of white. What is it you love about white interiors? For me, I think white interiors are fresh and calming and they are kind of the perfect backdrop for displaying artwork and letting your furniture pieces shine in a space as well. With the right materials, textures and tones, a white on white room can feel warm, it can be inviting and it can also be really timeless. How do you describe your signature style? A few key elements that I'm always drawn to are a mix of natural materials, oversized pieces like floor mirrors for scale, and I'd say a less is more approach. What led you to interior styling? I've always been interested in interiors and architecture, even when I was young. I used to take the Saturday real estate lifter out of the newspaper and cut up individual house images and sort of uh, paste them back together to create my own interior designs, I guess. Wow. And that led to studying interiors at Design College. I realised I really loved the fast-paced nature of styling and the fact that it was hands-on and no two jobs were ever the same. I think of you as having an innate understanding of light. I think natural light plays a big role in styling and interior design in general. And for me, it's really important because it not only brightens a space physically, but I think it can change the overall feeling and atmosphere in a room as well. Natural light can affect our mood and our productivity as well. So I think it's an important element in any home, especially if you're looking to create a healthy, happy home. How do you define contemporary Australian style? Do you think that's evolving too? To me, contemporary Australian style uh, has a focus on natural light, a mix of materials, and is always relaxed in nature. I mean, from my own personal experience, I know that, that styling is equal parts creativity and organisation. Yeah, definitely. I think as a stylist, people will assume that I'm always on set or always in showrooms and they see the fun part, but a lot of it is organisation. It's glamorous in its own way, but it is, it is hard work, yeah. Where do you look for inspiration? I think for me, because I'm a visual person, I love to uh, create concept boards for any projects that come my way. I also turn to my design magazines and books because I like to read about what inspired other stylists and creatives with their projects as well. Why do you think we love mid-century style so much in Australia? I think it's shown that it's classic. Even though at the time it would have been trendy, it's shown that you know, over a 70 year period that it always remains relevant and can fit into a lot of different styles of homes. It has clean lines, um, it shapes a classic and the materials used are always high quality. So I can see why it's still a really popular material or style in Australian homes. Let's go back to white. And you mentioned earlier that you can create a layered interior using white or neutrals. What, what's your best advice for doing that? I think the key word you just mentioned there is layered. A neutral interior can become one note really easily. So I think it's really important to incorporate multiple materials, textures and tones to make a space feel warm and for it to feel interesting as well. Do you have a favourite colour? Do you ever work with colour? I do. I, the good thing about my job is that I get to work with um, clients' homes that have different styles to mine and also on photo shoots where I get a brief that might not be exactly the way I would style my own home and that's what's really fun about my job. Um, I do work with colour a lot but in my own home I keep it to mostly a tonal approach so using light and dark and texture to bring in those elements. I think people, especially with what happened with COVID and staying at home for long periods of time, have really found that they need to create spaces at home that reflect themselves, whether that's including colour or artwork, and also maybe thinking a little bit more about how they use their spaces. If they're renovating or building, they might look a little bit ahead and plan for things like home offices or instead of an open plan layout now, actually having spaces you can go away from family or uh, people you live with to actually have your own spaces, which I think is a really interesting concept. I think people are sort of getting back to who they are and expressing that with their interiors.